Hi, hello everyone, this is Energy Crisis. The Energy Drink Report. A good day, good evening, good night. Good night is more of a little departure, but we're changing things around. We're gonna rewrite history. We're gonna make good night into a greeting now. Though it'll sound really awkward at first, but um, that's it. So this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. Here with an Energy Drink Review. Uh, before we start off, we'll little known fact about the show, if you've ever followed it. From the start, I always say, you know, this is Energy Crisis, the Energy Drink Report. But, um, I never really mean to call it the Energy Drink Report. Uh, that actually started, I think, in, like, review number two or something way back many years ago. Uh, I accidentally said report instead of review. But, um, I liked the sound of that, and I stuck with it. So, little known, little known Report of the Week fact right there. That the whole title of this show came about, or the, uh, Whole introductory line came about by accident. It's supposed to be energy drink review, not report, but report sounds nice. Today we are reviewing Grenade Energy Drink, this time in white and grape flavor, or white grape flavor. Nutrition facts, eight fluid ounces is the serving, two servings in this container. Per serving you have 90 calories, no fat, 22 grams of sugar, vitamin A, D, B6, B12, and E, and, oh, we can't forget C, and B5. Glad to know. Caffeine content, 125 milligrams per 13.7 ounces. Not recommended for children pregnant or nursing women, or those sensitive to caffeine. Natural flavors and colors, gluten-free and vegan. Um, a couple other ingredients, water, sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, potassium sorbate, sodium, benzate, etc., etc., please recycle. So yeah, about 125 milligrams of caffeine per bottle, lightly carbonated, do not shake, refrigerate after opening, refrigerated prior to opening, so it's going to be nice and cool. Grenade.com. Vitamin infused. And you drink. So, cool thing about this drink, I said this in the last one, and I'll say it again here, I will reiterate my point. Cool thing about this drink, it's a packaging. Number one, it's like a novelty item, you know? It's kind of like a hand grenade, right? Maybe this really is a hand grenade, but I think those are two different products. I think one's meant to blow you up, and the other is a refreshing energy drink. Um, but I can't confirm. I can't confirm either. But um, hopefully this isn't a real, a real lethal weapon that I'm holding here. But it looks like a hand grenade. Another great thing, resealable. That's awesome. So let's just open this up here. Just lightly carbonated. It's supposed to taste like white grape in flavor. So pour it out into our wine glass. Should I stick with the little thing I got going now? Pro overly pronouncing the WH in white. Adding extra emphasis. On it. Or why I just sound like an idiot. But then again, YOLO. Right? YOLO. So, here we are. Actually, it looks like I'm drinking a wine. It really does. Um, the color really fits the, the glass, right? Um, though it is lightly carbonated, I guess you don't see it in too many, too many fine Chardonnays. But, uh, here we are. White grape is supposed to be the flavor. So, let's, uh, let's drink up. It is refreshing. Not a hot day here. No, it's not. Only in the, the 60s outside, but still. Really nice, refreshing little beverage here. So, clearly there's one. I guess that's two. One uh, prominent thing about it, and that is the taste. Duh! What does it taste like? Well, it definitely tastes like grape. But, does it taste like white grape? Does it taste like pink grape? Or purple grape? Or whatever color my suit is, grape, right? 
or the uh, the rare. Uh, come on, think of a color. Think of a color. The rare, the rare um, beige grapes. It's too close to white. Um, the rare yellow grapes. Does it taste like those? Well, let's take one more sip. Now the beverage is lightly carbonated, so as soon as you drink it, really you're not you know you're not hit with a uh, massive blast of you know those little carbonated effervescent bubbles, um, which can be good. So it's smooth, smoother to down, smoother to drink, smoother to to, to chug, if you will. But does it taste like grape? Absolutely. Absolutely does. Now, back in the day, I used to have a problem with grape. What? Everybody loves those little grapes. I, do, I know, I do too. But I used to have a bad association of grapes that used to taste like, you know, horrible cough medicine, right? Um, and a lot of places, a lot of energy drinks and what have you, can't perfect the grape flavor. Always tastes awful. For, for whatever reason, it's just the one flavor that they can't get right is the grape flavor. It's an awful job. And this, however is drinkable, tastes good, and it's fine. Most of the problem with grape flavors prior uh, is the bitterness. There's always this weird bitterness that just follows through. But here, maybe it's because of those 22 grams of sugar helping me along the way here. Maybe not, maybe it's magical forces uh, at work. But whatever it may be, this is not bitter. Not bitter in the least. Tastes like grape, and it's even a little bit sweet. Uh, so they nailed the grape flavor, a little bit sweet, and just lightly carbonated. Boom! There you go. That's it. That's your review. Easy flavor. They hit the nail right on the head here. It tastes just fine. A little bit of hint of sweetness. Tastes like grape. Smooth. Easy to down. Another great drink from our friends over at Grenade. So, I was very pleased with their last drink. And I'm equally pleased with this drink. Now, price-wise, all right, these drinks aren't cheap. The phone's right here, so you're gonna hear that ring for about a minute. Hold on, give it, give it a second here. Don't let the ring disturb the review. We will wait. We'll go to three wait rings. It will not. See, this is the one problem about doing uh, doing energy drink reviews right after I wake up when I'm a little bit tired, late afternoon. Problem is that people are still awake and people use telephones. So the phone sometimes rings a little bit now in my reviews, which has never happened before because I used to film in the middle of the night, but decided to change things up and start filming, you know, right after I woke up. So I changed things up a little bit, but not important. Um, anyway, where were we here? Great drink. Um, now, it doesn't come cheap, though. They only saw, I think, a case of 12 for 30 bucks. But even there, you get 12 of these. They taste fine. You're going to like them. And, uh, you know, for 30 bucks, it's still a good deal, all right? So, uh, out of 10, what am I going to give this product? I'm going to give this an 8.9 out of 10. Um, really no complaints at all. The price still, once again, just because it's a you know, case of 12 and what have you, but uh, no complaints otherwise. So, with that said, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I believe that's all. So, this is Running on Empty. Oh. Almost got it. Almost messed up there. That's what happens when I film only food reviews for week after week after week. Start saying, oh, this is running on empty, but no. This is Energy Crisis. Energy Drink Report. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Take care, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.